Can you hear me, Erica? Okay. Text your classmates, please. Good morning, Baikal. Yeah, let's wait for your classmates first before we start. Is firm absent today? Uh-huh. Absent or not? Not. Not absent. Okay. Who's absent today? No one? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna check your attendance for the Luca. Can you find it? Okay, who else is here? Boon. What's your number, Satang? Number five. Number five, okay. Okay, so I'm not gonna care if you uh, didn't open your cameras, but what I care about is you are going to answer me if I am going to ask you questions, okay? So I want this class to be... Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay, so I want this class to be open, just like the same how we do in the classroom. Okay, Satang, what's your number? Uh, Ode, what's your number? Ode. Ode cannot talk. Okay, what's his number? Ode number. Number four. Teacher. Number four. Okay. okay, so remember, if I'm going to ask you questions, you are going to answer me. If you don't know the question, if you don't know the question, just say, I don't know, teacher. Okay, so I will know that when I need to teach you and when I need to review you. Okay. So let's review about friction. So what is friction again, Haruka? Friction is a force that acts in an opposite direction to movement. Very good. Okay, so friction is a force that acts in an opposite direction to a movement. Okay, so can you give me an example of friction, uh, Grace? Last time that I, I, I explained to you, what example did I give you? Push the box. Push the box. Okay, very good. Okay, so what are the causes of friction? So, of course, the cause of friction are the irregularities between the two surfaces. So, if we have two surfaces. We have smooth and rough surfaces. So, when you mean smooth, what is that point? 
smooth. What is smooth, smooth. in Thai? Smooth. No, liya. Okay. So, can you give me an example of smooth? Um, floor. Floor. How about rough? What is rough? By kau serikannya. Okay, so can you give me an example of rough? Road. Road, okay, very good. So also, if you touch your face, this is an example of smooth also. Huh? Smooth. Your face is smooth. Okay, so the causes of friction, of course, the two surfaces in contact. So we have smooth surface, which has smaller irregularities, and we have rough surfaces. Okay. So, or they cannot talk, right? Okay, so uh, if, the, if the surface are rough, is it going to have more or less friction? Anyone can answer. More. If the surface is, is rough, you are going to have more or less force. More force. more force, yes, because you are going to exert more force when the surface is rough. Not like when it's smooth, it's just going to slip, slide, but when it's rough, of course, it's going to stick. So you're going to push it more, you're going to exert more force. Okay, very good. At least you already have the idea. Okay, so again, the factors that affect, affect friction are... Two factors. The first one, what is the first factor? PP, can you please read? Friction depends upon two factors, which is the first one is what? PP. Just read nature. Nature. Is PP's microphone okay? Hey, PP, read nature of the surface. Go. PP. I'm going to wait here all day. If you're not going to read, I'm still going to wait for you. PP. Friction depends upon two factors, which is number one, nature of what PP? He said he already talked, but we cannot hear him. Okay, maybe his microphone is broken. Okay, Satang, can you please read for me? The friction depends upon two surface, uh, two factors, which is number one, nature. Uh, nature of the surfaces. So you said is contact. Okay, and the second is how? How hard the surface Pass, press, uh, to, press together. Okay, very good. Okay, so that's just what I want. You're going to um, answer. Okay, so the friction depends upon two factors. The first one, the smoothness or the roughness of the surface. And the second, the second one is how hard, how hard the surface or the surfaces are pressed together. So again, you need to remember Friction is less on a smooth surface. And friction is more on a rough surface. Okay, Grace, so friction is less on a what? Friction a, is less on a smooth surface. And friction is more on a what, Poon? And Friction is more on a? Friction is more on a rough surface. Surface, okay, very good. 
Okay, so again, we have advantages of friction. So I've already talked about this last week, right? So can you give me examples of advantages of friction? By cow, Sirikanya. Here's by cow. Yes. Okay, can you give me an example of advantages of friction? Um, we are able to walk without sleeping. Okay, we are able to walk without sleeping. Give me another example. By Kau Haruka. Enables uh, her to move on road without skipping. Okay, so number one, friction enables us to walk without sleeping. And the second one is friction enables us Ah, uh, friction enables a car to move on a road without skidding. So what do you mean by skidding, Poon? Skidding. Skidding? Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, what's that? Huh? Loon. Loon. I don't know how to explain in English. Oh, can you Loon. show it in action? Loon, a poon. <laughs> okay, so friction enables a car to move on the road without skidding. Okay, so those are the two advantages of friction. Okay, so how about the disadvantages of friction? Okay, Alice, can you please read the disadvantage of friction? Alice? Okay, so maybe their cameras and microphones are broken. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, so Poon, give me an, this, uh, an example disadvantage of friction. Shoes. Disadvantage. Okay, what happens to your shoes? Um. Uh, what? <laughs> What's that? Huh? The sole of our shoe wear out slowly. Okay, wear out slow, slowly, or it's the same with the picture here. You can see like there are, there's a hole already. So how do you say that in Thai? Have you experienced this with your shoes? Have you experienced this? Like, did, have you tried it that your shoes? already has the same hole or wears out no. because you walk too much no never okay because maybe never. you maybe maybe you buy new shoes all the time that's why you never <laughs> experience this one okay so for most of the people they experience this one the friction wears away the soles of their shoes okay so you can look at the picture before and after. As the time goes by, you keep on using your shoes. It's going to wear out slowly because of friction. Okay, and also for cars. This happens to the wheels on the cars also. Okay, the tires of the vehicle wear out gradually due to friction. So it's just the same. If you don't use your car, if you don't let your car run, it's not going to wear out. The tires or the wheels are not going to wear out. But if you are going to keep on using your car every day, you're going here, you're going there. Of course, the tires will wear out slowly. Okay. So Alice said that it's very noisy at her home. Okay. Never mind, Alice. I just want to call you because maybe you're not listening. Okay, so these are the two disadvantages of friction. Okay, so I've already talked about the methods in, of increasing friction, right? Okay, so the methods of increasing friction. Um, yes, Grace, can you give me the two methods of increasing friction? We can add rubber pads. Add to rubber, rubber rubber pads pad. to the to where? 
the contact surfaces. Okay, you can add rubber pads to contact surfaces. Another example, Poon. Oh. Yeah, so, uh, maybe. Okay, can you guys hear me? Yes, yes. Okay, Poon, can you give me another example of methods to increase? Okay, okay. Add what? Add what to your shoes? <laughs> Okay, so what what happened? What what did you add to your shoes? We can add grooves. Grooves. Okay, how the... do you say grooves in Thai? Yeah. What's that? Huh? Um, I need to use translate. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna wait for you. Wrong. Okay, so do Wrong. you have do you have that in your shoes by cow, Sirikanya? You have grooves in your shoes. Yes. Yes. In your slippers, do you have grooves? Your slippers. Do you have yes or no? Yes, yes. Yes, of course, because that is the one that helps us increase friction if you don't want to slip. Or skid that helps us. Okay, so grooves are made in soles of the shoe. Also, the threads for the tires to prevent from skidding. Okay, so if we have methods of increasing, we also have methods of reducing. Okay, or they can you speak or not? Your mouth hurts, right? Okay, okay, so Satang, please help. Um, all day because he can't speak. Okay, so what are you going to do to reduce friction? Please read, Satang. Friction. Uh, friction. Friction can be reduced. Reduced by applying. Okay, lubricants. Lubricants. Okay, very good. So friction can be reduced by applying. Lubricants. So what are the examples of lubricants? We have oil, greases. Okay, those are the examples of your lubricants. Next one. We can also uh, reduce friction by making the surfaces smooth, by polishing it. Okay, polishing. So for example, when you are putting wax on your car, that is an example of polishing. Okay. That is an example of polishing. Okay, so now we are going to talk about the two types of friction, which is kinetic and static. So always remember this one. This, uh, uh, this is a very important um, topic of friction. So two types of friction is kinetic and static. Okay, so what are the two types of friction, Haruka? Kinetic and static. Okay, how about my cow? Two types of friction. Kinetic and static. How about pun? Kinetic and static. Okay, how about satang? Two types of friction. Satang? Oh, he's already sleeping. Satang, two types sure. of friction. Kinetic and Static and static. How about Grace? The two types of friction are? Kinetic and static. Okay. So, Ode, two types of friction, kinetic and static. Alice and PP, two types of friction, kinetic and static. Okay. So, let's talk about kinet uh, static first. So, static is the opposing or resisting force between two solid surfaces. So, the example for this one is your the tires of your car, okay? The tires of your car, when it is running, 
it is an example of static friction, okay? The force, the opposing force, the opposing or resisting force between two solid surfaces. This is static friction. So again, the example, uh, the example for this one is when the tires are running on your surface or on your road. The other one, another type of uh, friction is we have kinetic friction. Okay, kinetic friction is the friction between two moving surfaces. Two moving surfaces. So for example, you have a brick. A brick, huh? do you know what brick is? Do you guys know what brick? Yes. Okay, what is brick in Thai, Haruka? Brick. It. Okay, so if you have brick and a bar, and then when you try to push it, that is kinetic friction. Okay, two, uh, it is two moving, uh, it is a friction between two moving surfaces. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a video. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to show you a video here. Okay, I'm going to show you a video. To make you, to help you understand more. We're going to look at two kinds of friction, static and kinetic friction. Now, here's an example of kinetic friction. If I push this brick, it slides across the table, obviously, and comes to a stop. Something is bringing it to a stop. We take that to be a friction force. Now, since the brick is moving, that's called sliding friction, or another word for it is kinetic friction. Now, the characteristic of kinetic friction force is that the force always acts opposite the direction the object is moving. So the object, the brick, moves this way. The kinetic friction force is that way. All right, let's take a, a look at another kind of friction force. This one has to, an example of this one is the force between uh, the tires of a car and the road. Let's get this car going. Now, the force that pushes the car along the road, forward along the road, is a friction force. Now, that may seem like a strange thing to say. After all, isn't it the engine that moves the car? Well, you certainly need the engine in order to move the tires, but you need the road in order to move the car. Uh, to see why that's tr true, suppose I turn on the engine. But with no road, it doesn't go anywhere. The tires simply spin. The road provides the friction. What's actually happening when the tires are in contact is that the tires are pushing backward on the road and the road is pushing forward on the tires. This is an action-reaction pair of forces that acts according to Newton's third law. So tires push back on the road, road pushes forward on the car or on the tires. And that push force is a friction force. And in this case, we call it a static friction force. We use the word static uh, because static implies no motion. Now, it's not that the car isn't moving, it certainly is, but the wheels are not slipping along the roadbed, at least not in normal operation. Now, here's another example of static friction. Let me put an object on this brick. If I tilt the brick a little bit, the object stays there. Well, what keeps it there? It's a static friction force. There's no motion between the bar and the brick. Now, if I tilt it enough, the bar begins to move, and so the static friction force became a kinetic friction force at that particular point. Okay, so have you seen in the video that when the two bars or the brick and the bar is not moving, that is static friction. What stops the bar from moving is static friction. But when you tilt it and it starts to move, the, star, uh, the bar starts to move. That is, that is now when the bar uh, already has kinetic friction. So from static, it changes to kinetic friction. Do you get the point there? When the brick and the bar, you just put it on top, it's not moving because of static friction. But when you tilt it like this and it starts to move, that is now when it became kinetic friction. Okay, so everyone, that is static and kinetic friction, okay? So do you have any questions? Any questions? Poon? 
question? No. Satang? Are they question? No. By cow, Sirikanya. No questions. Alice, PP, no questions. Okay, so where is Grace? Why is she lost? Battery. Her battery battery died. is not. About? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so what I want you to do now is I want you to get your book and open it to page 44. Okay, so what is friction? So what is friction again, Baika Haruka? Her friction is... Friction is a force that stops movement of two contacting surfaces and acts in the direction that opposes opposes motion. motion. Okay, so please answer this one in your book. Okay, and or you can take a photo so that you can answer this one later. Okay. Okay, let's continue for page 45. Just take a photo of this one. Okay, so for letter B, Poon, can you please read and answer? Yes, yes. Why? Please read. Why is there? Why is there friction between two contacting surfaces? Okay, so why is that? Because the surfaces are not smooth. Because the? Surfaces are, are not, not smooth. smooth. Okay, it's because the surfaces are not smooth. Very good. Okay, how about... Baikau Sirikanya, what are the factors that affect the friction? I already said this a while ago. The factors that affect the friction are? Uh, weight of the object and also the types of surfaces. Okay, the weight of the object and the types of the surfaces. Very good. Weight of the object and the types of the surfaces. Okay, so... Or they cannot speak. PP and Alice cannot speak. Okay, so for number two, it says here state two advantages, right? And two disadvantages. So what I want you to do is just give me one, only one. Okay. Okay, so what are the advantages of friction, Haruka? Only one. We are able to walk with our sleeping. Sleeping, okay, able to walk without sleeping. And disadvantage? We, we are slow moving things down. Again, again, say it louder. It will slow moving things down. Will, ah, it will slow things, moving things down. Very good. Okay, it will slow moving things down. Okay, so let's go to letter B. State two ways on how we can increase friction. This is very easy. Anyone can answer. How can we increase friction? Add rubber pads to rubber pads. Things. Okay, add rubber pads. Okay, so maybe uh, for letter B and letter C, I, ju I just want one. Okay, just one is enough. Okay, add rubber pads. Okay, very good. Or also you can say add grooves to your sole, to the contacting surface. Okay, so how about two ways? You can only, um, I'm going to let you only answer one, okay? Because this, we are going to write a lot already. Okay, how about ways on how we can decrease? Anyone can enter. Decrease friction. Decrease, huh? decrease. I gave you three examples. Add oil. Add oil or lubricants. Very good. Okay, add oil or lubricants. Or you can also say we improve the shape of the objects to be more streamlined. Okay, so add oil or lubricants. So it's up to you if you're going to answer two, but I'm just going to let you answer one. Okay, uh, Sirikania, what is... Static friction. 
X on two containing surfaces that are not moving with a force is apply. Okay, so X on two containing surfaces that are not moving when a force is applied. Very good. Okay, uh, Grace, Grace is already here. What is kinetic friction, Grace? <laughs> F on two containing surfaces that are not moving when a force is applied. Okay, so X on two, what? Two? Contacting surface that are moving when a force is X applied. X on two contacting forces. Okay, very good. The, the point there is X on two contacting surface, right? Is that correct? Contacting, okay, and... When you say for static, it acts on two containing surfaces. But for kinetic, it acts on two contacting surfaces. Very good. Okay. Last, last question. I want Oday to answer. Oday, you can, maybe you can speak a little. Okay, Oday, what, which type of friction is, is constant? Is it static or kinetic? Kinetic. Kinetic, very good. Okay, the type of friction that is constant is kinetic friction. Okay, okay. So please answer this in your book, or if you want, you can take a photo. We have six minutes to answer, so you can write it if you can write fast right now. And Haruka, can you please make an album in our line? Yes, okay. okay. And don't forget to send this and all the activities that you didn't send yet because I'm going to make your collecting points today, right now, after your class. Okay, so if you have questions, you can ask me, okay? Okay. 